you march in this nation, you must pay. If you breathe in this nation, you must pay. Do you not understand that Pharaoh has built his great house and he is stepping on your legs? All right, welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Hit that subscribe button. Man, the story keeps on getting weirder and weirder. We've been praising the JCF, Jamaica Constabulary Force, the police in Jamaica for getting to the scene on time based on intelligence, information they were given that human sacrifices were about to take place at this so-called church that we now know to be a cult or a group of people who do cultish practice anyways the headline says that the police must also be blamed for the workings of under pressure cult-like church pathways international kingdom restoration ministries one former member tells a story he says that the police did not act upon cult reports from former church members the ex-member said that the police continually disregarded reports made about the untoward practices of the institution which involved stripping women, girls, and shaving their genitalia before the leader, Kevin Smith, could anoint them and pray for their healing. Could you imagine stripping females, bringing them to the altar, women and girls, shaving their genitalia in front of Kevin Smith before they could receive their healing and their anointing. <laughs> the more we read into this story is the more we realize how deep this is, how many people are involved, and how accommodating they were to what this man was doing. Now, according to the former member who was a part of Pathways, for only a month and a half in 2020, the rationale for nudity was Adam and Eve. God created them naked, so no one should be wearing clothes. It is widely accepted by a lot of people that it was so. A mother and daughter came in one Sunday, and he called them up and sent for the olive oil that he wanted to anoint her but couldn't do so because they were wearing clothes. The mother objected because her daughter was having her menstrual period and he had absolutely no qualms about it. He didn't care if she was having her period. He wanted to see her naked. He wanted all her clothes to be removed. He told her to take it off and in the presence of everybody there and this young girl, who may be 16, 17 maybe at the time, had to undress with her pad being shown in her panty, and he went about anointing this girl naked. <laughs> Let that sink in. This is according to the Jamaica Observer. This is not SoFlo TV making stuff up. We recently received a message from someone who said, SoFlo, this is a warning. And I'm going to tell you for the last time, do not make any inflammatory comments about Dr. Kevin Smith. Cease and desist. Say no more or else. I asked the person if they are threatening me because I'm not afraid of them. I am not afraid. He added that there was one particular young lady there. He came and he told one of his bearers to bring his electric shears. The shears is what you use to shave. And she was shaved by another female right in front of everybody. Shaved, clean, clean. They can see it. No hair was left there. He wanted to see everything that was down there, is what he said. He was taking the shame away from her. The man, taken aback by what happened, told the Sunday Observer that the straw which broke the camel's back was when his wife and three daughters 
were being pressed to do the same. So this man took his whole family to this church and he sat and he watched all these things and he still thought it was okay to take his family back there again. I objected and I left. I was invited to be a part of something different, something new, and I went. But that was it for me, he said. I made a report to the Freeport Police in Montego Bay about what was taking place in that church. I left my name, I left my contact number, I gave my business name, I gave my business number. Nobody came, nobody called, nobody said anything at all. Consequently, he now blames the police for the recent deaths that occurred on the compound as a result of these occult practices. The police failed. People had given information to them. They could have acted earlier, especially when it came to the abuse of children. There were adults frolicking in front of children in the nude. Some things that happened, some things that I saw, it's just unbelievable. The police are now taking credit for doing something when people have lost their lives. But they have been told by many other people previously. They could have done something from last year, February. They didn't do anything at all. They did nothing in relation to the people who reported what they saw with their own eyes and heard with their own ears. Other people also made complaints and they did nothing at all, he said. When asked if he had receipts of making the report, the man said he just reported what he saw, but he did not give a statement. He, however, said that the police took his name and his particulars and said that they would be in touch. To repeat that again, they never came. They never called. They never said anything at all. The man's allegations about atrocities towards women follow a 2020 social media post by Taurus, who also alleged that the leader of Pathway had locked them in a house they had rented from him through Airbnb. And I have the video, I have the video for it, and I've seen the video of the people leaving the house. The woman alleged that they had rented the property from a woman, but Smith had recently purchased the house, and in the middle of their stay, showed up with new rules which required permission to use the hot water or for the doors to be unlocked. So they were locked into this Airbnb. The women did said that the situation escalated when they tried to leave before their stay was up, but they were prevented from doing so as one of Smith's lieutenants locked all the doors. The women said that they eventually got out and had to climb the gate to leave the property. They actually have it on video and I, SoFlow TV, have seen the video. I am pretty sure at this point that many other people have seen this video as well. This is just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The women eventually got out but they had to climb the gate to leave the property. They said that a report was made to the police who advised them that there was no law against locking up people in a house. Imagine that. The police advised them that, hey, we can't do nothing about it because there's no laws against locking up people in a house. In the United States of America, that is actually called kidnapping. I've seen couples get into fights before, and this is the end of the relationship. They're breaking up. And that is one law here that, say, for instance, the female can use against the male, which would up his charges if there was any abuse from domestic abuse to domestic abuse and kidnapping. And kidnapping carries significant charges punishable by years and years in prison. 
kidnapping does not mean you handcuff somebody blindfold their eyes put them in the back of a car and take them to some unknown location against their will according to the law kidnapping means you can just be obstructing the doorway you're not leaving block the doorway that is called kidnapping however Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey said that while he could not speak to the specifics of the matter involving the Taurus, if a person is held against his will, it is actually called false imprisonment. The Taurus said they went and made a complaint and they were told no such law exists. Funny enough, there is also a video of them at the police station complaining to a particular police making their reports now meanwhile regarding the police regarding the former pathway members assertions about the police senior superintendent of police stephanie lindsay said that if a person is aware of an offense he is required to give a statement which is different from a report a report is when you come to the station and say something happened well, that's what we saw in the video. The tourists went to the station and said what happened. There are some reports that, based on the nature of it, the police may be able to investigate and find evidence that can be placed before the court. But in most instances, it is required of people to follow that up with a statement which is a detailed and chronological account of what they are alleging actually transpired with that the police can initiate further investigation and have a witness that you can put the matter before the court lindsay said according to the jamaica observer a lot of people will come and say i just come to tell the police but even if the police wants to take action there are some cases that you can't take action in because you didn't see the offense when it was committed. Mean of Anosa police had to see offenses being committed in order for them to act on a complaint. Anyhow, so you have to rely on the witness. Unless the witness is willing to give a statement, it makes it a little difficult. You can go and warn, but you can't further it in a court of law unless you and the police go and visit the location and witness the offenses being committed. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize how important it is for people who are in the know to participate in the process by giving statement, Lindsay added. Now these practices of stripping women butt naked in front of the congregation, shaving their genitalia before they can receive their anointment saying that you want to see everything that's down there and you are taking away shame from them because God created Adam and Eve and he did not create them with clothes. So Adam and Eve was naked in the garden so it is not shameful for us to be naked in front of each other. Wow. And this was reported to the police and multiple Congregants have now come out to say that this is what they have seen, this is what they witnessed, this is what took place there. Never mind that children were involved. And yet still, I hear Dr. Harris Chang say there might be grounds to shut this place down. Might. Not that there is, but there might be. Anyhow, as another person said, I will leave these people to continue their investigation and we will continue to watch to see what takes place as the investigation goes through. My personal opinion and summation of this is here is a master con artist who is also involved in other things of the occult and was able to capture the minds of many people. Poverty is a hell of a thing. One person said to me, so Flo, you know, see the man, man shun them. He is truly blessed. Stop talking evil things about him. You will never get them kind of blessings here. Hmm. This lets me know that there is no stopping 
this kind of activity from reoccurring in a different location with a different person in place of Kevin Smith. Watch my prediction and see if there won't be more of these. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Now as to the man who is now making claims of this is what he saw. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Let's not lose sight of the fact that murders were proven to have been committed beyond any shadow of a doubt at this location under the leadership and command of Kevin Smith. So, with that said, this man who is claiming that he saw all this and he only went there for a month, but then he left. When asked why he went back time and time again, he said he was just curious. What was there to be curious about? A normal person would have left as soon as anybody who invites you to a church, right? You can't imagine going to church, you show up on a Sunday and you bring your family with you, your wife and your little girls. And you said, come on, let's go hear the word of the Lord. I was invited to this new church. Let's bring the whole family along and let's go see what, the, um, what they're doing. You know what they're about. Let's go fellowship. Let's go worship. Let's go join hands in hands with this congregation and celebrate life and these things. And you go there and the first thing you see is pastor on the pulpit calling forward new people who had just come there. A mother and her daughter like the story said, believed to be 16 or 17. You might have thought, okay, he's going to pray over them or something like that. But the minute you saw him demanding that they be unrobed, demanding that they get undressed in front of the entire congregation, a packed house, you should have got up and left. I would have got up, taken my children and my wife and left. That was more than a red flag. But you stayed there to watch the entire process of the derobing, disrobing, shaving of the private and the anointing ritual, if you will. And then you went back for more and back for more. And your story now is that you were just curious. Your wife went back with you for more. And brought your children back there for more. There was another story to this continued where the man said that he was not at home, but his wife was at home and she was working in the kitchen. And his wife told him that their teenage daughter, who he had brought to the church and had been bringing to the church, his teenage daughter walked into the kitchen where her mom was stark naked no clothing on at all whatsoever. So the wife said to her, what are you doing? And the daughter said, mommy, it's normal. They do it at the church, right? And people weren't born with clothes. And that he said was the camel that broke or the straw that broke the camel's back. He said when his wife told him that, he said, okay, they're getting to her head. They're getting into her mind. It's time to leave. And that was the last straw for him. And he left when he realized it was now affecting his children. But mind you, he had brought the children there on multiple occasions and had them sit and watch and witness these things. And now, because she decides to do what she had been seeing done in this church, it's time for us to go. It's also reported that they got her some help as far as counseling goes, trying to get her back on the right track, back to normal, because now he realized that this was wrong. This is the same person who is saying that many other people besides himself had complained before even his complaint, people that he knows personally. A group of people had already made up their minds to go complain. It is reported that the police went on a Sunday, it was packed, they did not even go into the church, so they would not have seen what was going on inside. He went outside, Kevin Smith went outside, spoke to the police, 
and they drove off. That's it. He's that powerful. He is that revered and respected. They went, they spoke to him outside the church. They didn't even go in to see if it was true or anything like that might have been happening or any funny anything. They spoke from outside the church. Now we all know that you have police officers who are actually with this, members of this, and it is also reported that there are also people in high places. This same person said that it was not unusual every church service to see all the big name people show up for service and none of them had any qualms about people stripping down. Even they themselves got into the ritual and stripped down naked as well. And we are talking about high ranking people in politics and in business is what the report says. We don't have the names right now, but there are pictures floating around out there and there are many people running around right now trying to clear their name, disassociate and distance themselves. I wait to see what comes of this. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next video with SoFlo TV. It gets weirder. I'm out. Stay tuned. Good morning, Miss Reed. Good morning. Me all right. Me not 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 wrong with me. Me all right. But now listen, everything you hear and and, and believe because sometimes people run with the wrong story and people say the wrong things and people accuse people wrongfully. But what I'm saying is that we have no answer for what takes place. I was there part of what in the last part in the evening what happened. But all I know is I see mystery and I see God in action. What I witness. How can you stand sit on one place and one soldier, police, military, one hundred gunshot go at you one time and not one shot touch the man of God? That is mystery. That